Hello, and this is the first of two tutorials on how to make and animate maps in After Effects for video journalism. In this first example, we're going to see how to work with vector maps. And as an example, we're going to try to do this animation starting from global view and zoom to a local area. I picked France uh, and Bordeaux, which is uh, the city not far from where I grew up. And in part two, we look how to use the plugin GeoLayers which is not free, but incredibly powerful, and it's becoming very much used in the newsrooms. Before starting, I want to let you know that designing map is a big, big topic. It's complex. You can read about it. There is different types, different projection. It's a real complex thing, and me, I'm not an expert of this. In this tutorial, I'm only focusing on animation, okay? So, let's go. Okay, so to start, first we need a map, right? So. I picked this one from Wikipedia, which I believe is fine to use under a Creative Commons Attribution License. It's with the Winkle 3 projection and it's said to be uh, the most accurate uh, for global view. You can download this from here, original file. Make sure to get the SVG. Oula. Make sure to get the SVG file. Me, I have downloaded it already. It's in my download folder so i'm gonna copy it and paste it into my project folder right here so before bringing this into after effect we need first to prepare it and we're going to use for that illustrator which is a the software in the adobe suite that allows you to work with uh, vector imagery you can right click here and open it with adobe illustrator Boom, there it is. So it can be a bit scary at first, especially if you're not familiar with it, but we're only gonna use basic functions it's just to be able to animate it into After Effects. What we're gonna need here is the layer tab here. So if you don't find this, I think you can find it through window here and layers. We're gonna need this. And uh, so what do we need to do? Let's develop this and see what we got here. We have a grid here, as you can see. And this, I, th I think I'm gonna delete it. Like, I, I don't wanna use it for, for my example. So I'm gonna delete this. Coastline, I think same, I'm not gonna use that. Like all this, the outside of the land, I, I don't need it like I already, I only need the land. Uh, I'm gonna keep the borders of the countries. This, I'm gonna keep that. Let's get rid of the lakes as well. Let's, uh, we don't really need this for this uh, example. I'm gonna delete this. Um, and states. So here, this is very useful, and this is why I picked this map as well, is because inside here, inside this, there are subfolders with every countries on the planet. So this is very useful. And so if I turn it on, we don't see anything here because I think it's the same color, but let's let's change the color of all of these. Let's put whatever, like let's put some pink, whatever. And if you see, this is very good because we can isolate different countries. So I'm gonna take me, I want to animate France. So I'm gonna search for France, Eurasia, Europe. And I think there are European Union members and France is here. So I'm gonna take it and bring it outside for now. And yeah, that's perfect. And we, yeah, there is, there is France mainland and also overseas territories. I'm only going to take France mainland and the rest I'm going to put it back to states and state is hidden so that's fine. Uh, that's fine. Uh, continent, we're going to keep that. Land mass, it's pretty much the same so I'm going to delete it. Uh, and behind is the background, is, is the sea. So next thing we're going to adjust the style a little bit just to make it fit what we want to achieve, which is like this. So the continent, I'm going to put this in gray, something like this. The sea, we want it, ah no, yeah, this is the opposite. So we want the continent in dark. We're going to put the sea a bit in gray shade. Yeah, this is not bad. And France, we want to put it in white. Boom. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not exactly the same, but it's it looks fine to me. I'm also going to delete Antarctic because I, I think we don't need it. So to do so, I'm going to need to select it. So I'm going to take the A cursor, which is this one. I'm going to click on it and 
press the delete key and I'm also gonna try to get rid of these islands. To do so, I'm gonna first lock the background with the lock here, boom. And I'm gonna take the selection tool, which is right here. And I'm gonna get rid of these islands. Up. Last thing we need to do before going to After Effects is to put all of these into different layers. Otherwise, After Effects is only gonna see one single layer. So I'm gonna come here and create a new layer and I'm gonna put the borders on one. I'm gonna rename these borders. I'm gonna create another one and put friends. And I'm gonna drop friends mainland in there. Uh, then we need the continent and the last one. Yeah, these states, we don't need these anymore. I'm gonna leave them hidden. And this is gonna be the C, boom. And we are good to go. I'm gonna save this, save as. Oh, I'm gonna do save on my computer. And in the same folder, I'm gonna, let's call this map edited just so I know. And very important, change here to Adobe Illustrator. We don't want SVG anymore. Save. It's gonna ask you what format. You can just leave it as it is, it should be fine. And now we are good to go. I'm gonna take my file and drop it into After Effects. Boom. And here this is very important. Make sure to import with composition and for this project, we're going to do document size and I'm going to press OK. First thing, I'm going to save my project, which is here project. And I'm going to call that map animation version one. Boom. I'm going to create a new composition, HDTV 1080 25. It's perfect. 15 seconds should be fine. And let's go gonna rename that with main comp for example and first thing I'm gonna do is to look what has been imported so if I double click on the file that has been imported boom I found back my maps and I have my four layers that's perfect I'm gonna copy this and paste this in the main comp and because it looks like not at the right spot I'm gonna press P select all of these and do right click reset boom so they come back to the middle and we're gonna see what to do with that next first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna start by creating another object to act as a guide I explained this technique in the first tutorial if you want to refer to it and I'm gonna attach all my assets into the guide so then I can zoom zoom back and that's perfect so i'm going to start with a global view let's let's frame this nicely this is not bad yeah this is fine and this black thing on the side is not so great so i'm just gonna create a solid i'm gonna take the same color and just make a slight nuance maybe a bit darker boom call this background and put it below. Yeah, not bad. So I'm gonna lock this I'm, and then I don't need to attach it because it's just the, the background color and yeah. First step in animation, let's look what we want. Yeah, friends must blink. So let's start by doing this. So I'm gonna take friends and I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna change the color, put it yellow. And to how to make a blank, I'm gonna just change the opacity parameter. I'm gonna develop it. So you can also press, it's there, but you can also press the, the key T, which sounds like transparency. I'm gonna create a keyframe. And so at first we want it to be at zero, right? And then just a bit further, let's do five frames further. I'm pressing command and the arrow left. We're gonna put it at 100. And because if we leave it like this, it's gonna fade, you know, it's gonna do the transition. We need to tell After Effects to just switch the value. So to do so, I'm gonna come here and do toggle hold keyframes. And with this mode, look what it, what it is doing. Tac, it changed from zero to 100 
directly. So this is what we want. We want also to blink it several times, right? So I'm going to do five frame more and I'm going to copy paste this keyframe, paste it. So let's look. This is good. And we want it several times. I'm going to copy this tree, paste it and paste it another time. Let's look. Perfect, but we, at the end we want it to, to stay, so I'm just going to delete the last one. And this is, yeah, this is exactly what we want, so that's perfect. Next thing, let's look, we need to zoom into friends. And to do so, it's just going to be the same technique as the previous tutorial. I'm going to develop the guide parameters and check position and scale. Come a bit further and zoom like this. And move to France oh, let's I'm holding the shift key as you can see because it's make the thing a bit faster we can go a bit further a little bit more yeah not bad and because if I leave it like this is gonna be blocky I'm gonna use my plugin is and with, I explained how to use that in a previous tutorial. Boom! Nice! It's like a, the nice movement that we want. Something important, if you look at it, it's look a bit blurry here, right? So why? And this is something very important in After Effects and when you work with vector assets, you need to tell After Effects to consider these layers as vector and to do so you just need to check here this sort of sun and now as you can see the borders are very fine as i'm designing this i think these borders are a bit thick so it's actually i can edit it very easily i'm going to go back to after to i'm going to go back to illustrator and if i select the borders I can actually make them smaller directly. I'm going to go to window and go to stroke and it's opening this. I'm going to attach it here. Yeah. Boom. And let's put it at, let's see one. Hmm, it's still very thick. Let's do 0 0.25. Yeah. This is much better. Let's save this and whoosh, boom it's changing right away. So this is very good, like something to know with Illustrator and After Effects, you can change values very easily. It could work with colors as well. And uh, yeah, this is fine. Um, next thing we need to do, let's look, it's to put the Friends tab, right? So I'm going to come here, make a text, Friends, it's a bit small. And I want this in capital letters. And in the example, I think I put a bit more padding here. Yeah, this is not bad. Put it in black. And I think it was a bit, yeah, I left the opacity at probably 33. Like yeah, this is not bad. Boom, I'm doing this. Don't forget to attach it. Otherwise, as you can see, it stay, <laughs> it's, it's not linked to it. So I'm gonna use the parent link and attach it to the guide. And now that's fine. Now it's following and also gonna make it appear right here. I'm gonna turn the opacity parameter, leave the 100 a bit further and push the 33% a bit further and boom, back to zero. And now, yeah, not bad. Let's put it slightly earlier. Perfect. And the last thing we need to do is to make the, the city dot, right? Let's look how to do this. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to press U to rewind all the layers. And I'm going to come here, hold, click and hold and take the ellipse tool. Boom. And I'm going to do, for now, right, not too far from it, I'm going to do a small dot 
we can't really see, so I'm gonna zoom with the command plus, with the space I move here, and we're gonna be able to design our dot. So first thing, I'm gonna move the anchor point, I'm gonna press the Y key, which is this cursor, take it there, now hold shift uh, command, and, oh, Y is not sticking to it. Let's try again. Ah, yeah, now it's fine. And now it's right in the middle and it's gonna be useful to zoom and, and make it appear. And so in our, in our example, the inside is white, right? So let's do the same. Let's call this dot, boom. The inside should be white. And this is not bad, huh? Yeah, let's, let's go like this, this is perfect. I'm gonna put it slightly smaller and Bordeaux, from what I know, is right here, a bit down south of this river stuff. Yeah, we are on it, for sure. And I'm gonna directly, as same as the friends tag, attach it to the guide. Let's leave the tag on top, so it's a bit clearer and put no color on this. Yeah, I like that. And, okay, let's see what's going on. Like, I don't see anything, so I'm gonna come here and do fit so I can see what's going on. Let's press zero to play. Okay, not bad. So we want the dot to appear a bit right here, right? So I'm gonna press the S key to develop the parameter scale and I'm gonna create a keyframe. And so this is fine. And the first one must be zero. And I'm gonna apply, maybe not expo on this, I'm gonna apply quart. Boom. And now, whoosh, not bad. I can make this a bit right here. And actually, see one quick thing, because whoosh, it's a, actually it's a bit too much on the south, I think. So it's more right here, yeah. Whoosh, yeah, this is better. And I don't need this strange moment where it's too small, so I'm gonna just take this right here and... Yeah, that's great. Not bad, we can make this a bit longer. Yeah, this is okay. Okay, let's go for this. It's not too far from our example. And now we need to do the border tag. So I'm gonna take the tool again, the text tool again, and create a rectangle, border, and we want, how do we want it? We want it, yeah, in, not in capital letters. So I'm gonna get rid of the capitals and same the spacing, I'm gonna put it back to zero. And we also want maybe medium should be fine. Let's zoom on it. And I'm gonna press the, put the anchor point here again. And we're gonna attach that to the guide as every asset in this comp. It looks, let's see, that looks fine. And we just need to fade it in. So how did I make it here? Oh yeah, I did this kind of reveal with a sort of mask. So let's look how to do this. I'm gonna click on the on my item, zoom a bit on it just to see what's going on. And I'm gonna take here, hold the tool now, take the rectangle tool, make sure to select your layer and create a mask over it. Boom. This is the first step. And now we can add an animate parameter here and doing position. It's gonna create some stuff here and this you can animate and this, this is what we want. I'm gonna check the chrono, move it forward and a bit before we want it hidden, something like this. And I'm gonna use ease and with. Yeah, this is very nice. It's just a bit too late. So I'm gonna bring it back. Let's see how it looks. Oh, let's fit because we don't. Not bad, right? 
let's make it a bit bigger because I feel it's a bit small. So I'm gonna press the position. Let's just place it and let's scale it up a little bit. And since I put the anchor point at the right spot, as you can see, it's very fine. And it looks fine to me. Boom. That's it for these tutorials. Of course, it's the basics and this is a huge field, huh? like uh, designing maps, animating maps. There is so much style, so much techniques. So this is one easy technique to, to do some stuff. Now it's time for part two, where we're going to look how to use GeoLayers, which is an awesome plugin. See you.